All right, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage photos on Facebook page. That's right, when you have a Facebook page you manage and you upload photos, it saves it to an album or at least saves it to your Facebook page. So you'll have tons of photos in there you might not paid attention to after you already uploaded everything. I'm going to show you how you can manage those. I'm going to try to make it easy because there's a lot of things you can do in there, but we'll go over a couple of them so it'll get you started. Um, but before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, hit the um, subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that we come out with every week. And we appreciate you subscribing. All right, let's get this going. The first thing we want to do is obviously go to our Facebook page. Now that we're on our Facebook account, we want to find the Facebook page. Make sure you're on the Facebook account that's connected to the page you're going to be working on. I am, so I'm going to look to the left under your shortcuts is where I can find it. If you don't see it there, go to see more, and those are all the pages you manage, and it will show up there. So I'm going to go to Gold Club Gamers because that's the one I'm working with today. And I have two steps on this one. Just ignore that. <laughs> Sometimes you might. If you do, you just click the, the name of the um, page again, and it moves you to the home page of your page. Now that we're there, the next thing we want to make sure we do is that we're working on this page as the page itself so i need to make sure i'm called gold club gamers when i'm working here so to do that you want to go to the top right to your profile image click on that go to see all profiles and then you want to select the page you're on so down in the bottom left corner you're going to see a little little message pop up that tells you you're now acting as gold club gamers on facebook that's what you want now we can go to the video the photos right here at the top it says photos click on that and now we can manage the photos so we can get started here in just a minute um, we'll start so I'll show you a couple things there's a lot you can do in here but I don't want to overwhelm everybody so we'll just start with the small and it'll get you started I want to go over the album part first so we're gonna go right here at the top you'll see you have your photos albums add photos we can do that but we're not gonna do that in this video um, but you can mess with that if you like um, and you can also go to here and say see photos hidden from timeline I'm not messing with that in here we're just gonna go to albums first so here's where your albums are hidden so you can see your albums you can go into your albums by clicking the three dots at the top corner of the album actually no that's download album Ooh, okay don't listen to that part <laughs> we'll go click on the album there you go now you're inside it and you can mess with it here you can mess with the images so you can click on this little edit pencil you can delete the photo from your album this actually deletes a photo totally you can download a photo so you can save it for backing up you can make it the cover image of this album but we don't want to do that that's how you kind of manage your your albums but I want to go back to the photos part so we're gonna go back to the main photo part so we're here and you can obviously you saw there you can actually create an album we're not gonna go over that right here we're gonna do your photos and your photos have little pencil icon so you know you're on your page when you have the pencil icon you won't have that if you're if you're working on your page as yourself so we're going to click the little edit pencil this gives you a couple options you can change alt text you can edit the location so the location you took the picture you can delete the photo you can edit the date i'll show, show you that in a minute that's the one we're going to go over you can download it you can make it your profile image um you can make cover photo you can move to another album. So if you wanted to move one of these photos to a different album, you can do that right here. First, we're going to go. So the two we're going to go over here is the edit date and move to another album. Let's go to edit date. Edit date. What that does is where should this go on your timeline? So you can actually shift the image. So if you wanted that that image to be at the higher part of your timeline, you can actually change the date so it moves up on your timeline. So that's a way you can kind of rearrange all these photos if you like in this um, area. It's really cool. I've tried it. It really does work. It's fun. It's, you can mess around, move the photos around, rearrange things if you're that kind of person and do it that way. Change the date, change the time, hit done, and it will move it. So when you do that, it re refreshes. Okay, the other part I wanted to show you is move to another album. Now this one's kind of interesting. So if you hit move to another album, you can go, I have a couple albums. It says, I got one album. Okay, I got one album according to this. Um, gaming memes. Um, I can create a brand new album. That's what I really want to show. Create album. So if I click on create album, it's going to come up here. And I'm going to say move photo to a totally different album. So it's now popping up. It's thinking about it. Now it's giving me this. So now the photo is there with my post underneath it. Then to the left here, you can actually, it's going to be public. You can say only me or public. I'm going to say only me. 
And we're going to say that's fine. Click out of that. Um, you can change the title of it. So I'm going to say gaming oops, album. So if I could spell album, there we go. Um, you can put a description in if you want. You can add contributors, which I don't need to. But you can do that like if something like my brother, I can put his name in there and it'll pop up. I can tag him in it. And then what you do is you can upload new photos if you need to, or you can delete the album altogether. But if you liked, if you created that new album, you can hit save right down here. It's a really quick way to do it because usually when I'm creating an album, I'm doing it with photos that I'm looking at right then. So that's what we're looking at. So that's how you actually create an album. This way, it's kind of fun if you're moving it. So if you want to move one of the photos to a different album, you have the way you can do it. So I'm going to go back out because I'm not going to save this. So we're going to back out. No, I'm not keeping leave. OK, so that's how you do that. There's a lot of choices in here, but this at least sits you in the right direction of all the stuff you can do in here. Um, like some of these, like, let's see, most of them will give you the same. I Once in a while, you'll see something different on them. I think I don't know why that is, but you'll have to mess around with it. So scroll through, move around your photos, the change in the date, um, change, make albums if you want to create new albums. And you can start organizing those photos on your Facebook page. So I hope that wasn't too confusing, guys. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching this. Um, this is a, a lot of detail in this, so it would take me half hour to an hour to explain every little detail. But this at least gets you started. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.